Hey, welcome back to Football Friday, wrapping up our stay here in Cocalico territory at Two Cousins Pizza. Lorenzo, the owner here, you've been a gracious host for us. It's become kind of a tradition for Football Friday to come here, and a good one for us and you, right? You guys are always welcome. I appreciate uh, every time you guys come out, and Cocalico football team, go Cocalico. You guys rock. And, and the kids really seem to enjoy it, right? Gathering here and everything and being part of the whole Football Friday experience, win or lose. Seems like it. They, they like the pizza. They like the environment. We like them, too. And we love the pizza, too. Let me point that out right Thank away. You. Lorenzo, thanks again. Hey, Football Friday was also in Lebanon County tonight for a couple of big LL Section 3 matchups. Take a look. Heckling Valley making the long trek to Fredericksburg to try to vanquish the Vikings. Northern Lebanon up 2-0. The handoff to Dominic Trader, who bounces it outside. Little stiff arm, and then outruns everybody to the house. 55 yards, 8-0, Vikings on top. Back come the Braves. Gabriel Allgaier rolling, rolling, and then spotting his fullback Donald Brumall behind the defense. And the big fella is running free in the secondary. Nothing but green grass in front of him. 55 yards. Peckley's on the board. Down 8 7. Still in the first quarter. Back come Northern Lebanon. Isaac Gray, little out pattern to Mason Yost. And it's 14-7, Vikings up the lead. And just before halftime, Peckway going for it on fourth down, but stuffed by a host of Vikings. Northern Lebanon stays perfect in LL Section 3 play with a 26-13 win. More from LL Section 3, Lebanon County rivals Elko and Abel Piona squaring off third quarter. AC up a touchdown. Noah Connor, I am the one who knocks. 28-14, Dutchman. Fourth quarter now, Elko down 21, Jeff Martin pump fakes and then finds Corey Brown wide open for the score. The Raiders are within two scores. But later, it's Cameron Hooch, the speedy sophomore, bolting through a big hole, going 53 yards to seal the deal. Anvil Cleona rolls 42-21 to to keep a share of the LL Section 3 lead. Hey, I'm getting a look right now that Amble Clune and Northern Lebanon are the cream of the crop in Section 3, but we still have half eight football season to go. All right, our thanks again to Two Cousins Pizza for hosting Football Friday right uh, once again. Let's go back to the studio now, Mike Costetler and Barbara Barr. Thank you, Prince. And as Pat pointed out, this is the midpoint of the season. It seems crazy. We're, I think it's because we're still in September. It doesn't feel like we're mid, uh, midway uh, through the year. Well, and it's been so warm. Yes, I, I thought yeah. that too. Gate? Week five already, and it's been pretty unpredictable in the Lancaster oh, London League. Been. Mike, some wild finishes and upsets, and tonight, no exception. Hemfield visiting McCaskey. The tornado looking to upset the Black Knights, coming off a tough loss to Penn Manor. First quarter, here we go off the deflection, and the tornado capitalized. That's Kyer Bynum with the interception. Then Ladetrius Sibley, I said Ladetrius Sibley out of the shotgun, takes off like he was shot out of a cannon down the sideline. 59 yards for the touchdown. McCaskey leads it 7 to nothing. The Red Tornado keeping the momentum going inside the 20. It's Bynum. The inside handoff pulled down inside the 5. That led to another Sibley TD run. 14 nothing is an upset brewing. Late in the second quarter, Sibley deep to Kobe Gantz. 35 yards for the score. McCaskey rolls past Hemfield for the upset 27 to 7. Another up-and-coming team, Solanco at Lancaster Catholic. The Crusaders off to a bit of a slow start this year with a lot of new young players. Scoreless at the half. That changes quickly. Nasir Weaver bobbing, weaving 29 yards to the Golden Mules' two-yard line, setting up his own touchdown, and the Crusaders lead it 6-0. But Solanco would answer. Quarterback Noah McCardle calling his own number. Gets some great blocking here. 26 yards for the score. The Mules get the two-point conversion and lead it. They were ahead 15-12 late in the fourth, looking to put the game away. But, uh-oh, they cough it up deep inside Crusader territory. Darius County recovers. Lancaster County back in business. Catholic would move the ball to just past midfield. Just a couple of minutes left. Jordan Scott keeps it. He's got some room. Cuts back down the sideline looking for that end zone. And then watch closely. The ball comes out as he put it down at the goal line. Solanco picks it up, but the referees say, no, it's a touchdown. Lancaster Catholic takes the lead. Looking slow-mo. Looks like his knee might have been down at the one before he got the ball across the goal line. But it's a touchdown. Lancaster Catholic would have been their ball anyway. They hold on to win a hard-stopping 19-15 win over a very game 
Solanco team. Both teams, though, young teams that are just kind of coming on this year. A couple of turnovers late, but a thrilling ending. That is the second week in a row now. Solanco has yeah. lost a heartbreaker. Tough Last one. week they lost on a Hail Mary on the final play. But definitely Ouch. game and uh, playing their hearts out. Yeah, yeah. and I mean, you can well. see the improvement yeah, in the Golden Mules this year. That is for sure. All right, time now to check back with Justin Betty in York County. Recognize that song? It's gonna fly now from the Rocky movies, one of my personal favorites. One team that's been flying all season long so far has been Red Line. Couple setbacks. Look at bounce back this week, taking on Northeastern. Big crowd at Red Line for homecoming against Northeastern. No score late in the first. Red Line's Dalton Grove fakes the handoff, airs it out, and Matthias Cable falls it in for a 31 yard gain and a first down. Later that drive, Grove rolls out. Slings to Christian Castle. Ballet dancing in the end zone. A six yard strike. Seven nothing Lions. Bobcats look to respond. Check out the effort by running back Chris Wack. Good name. Great run. Folding over defenders for a nearly 20 yard gain. Second Gore Northeastern driving, but on fourth down, Derek Ross comes up with a big interception. Sprints down the sideline. Cuts it back. And he's gone. 81 yards on the return for the touchdown. Red Lion takes a 14-0 lead. And then they turn up the heat on defense. Kenny Holloway comes up with a big sack. Lions hang on to win 21-14. I tell you what, this is one dedicated group of football players, band members, cheerleaders here in Wrightsville, Eastern New York High School. The team suffered a tough loss tonight, but it doesn't bother them at all. Mike, back to you. All right, Justin, next time they play the theme from Rocky, I expect to, uh, you to get down there and do some one-arm push-ups for us. We are not done. When we return three more games, including a Lulu between Milton Hershey and Camp Hill.